Hey what's up guys, welcome back. So in today's video, it is the one you've all been waiting for. I'm going to be trying every single Control Freak thumbstick in this video. So on the table behind me, I got a whole bunch of stuff that Control Freak sent me. So shout out to Control Freak. This one's gonna be pretty action packed. So drop a like and subscribe as well as use code FLEA in the item shop. If you would like to support more videos like this, I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, man, let's just get right into the video. So first things first, before we jump into Fortnite, Night. Control Freak has actually hooked me up with some extra stuff here that I'm just gonna quickly go over. Starting with the most important thing, the PlayStation 5 controller cable. So for those of you that don't know, the PlayStation 5 controller, when you buy it, doesn't actually come with a cable. So it's pretty much useless, and I had to find some random USB-C cable lying around. And it's just super stiff and just didn't feel like a cable that should be for a controller. So luckily, Control Freak has come in clutch. Let's open this up right now. All right, so here we are. Finally, a high quality USB-C cable that plugs right into your PlayStation 5 controller. I'm definitely gonna be using this for this video. Let's see what's next. We have, okay, an 8K DisplayPort gaming cable. This is insane. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up. And the one thing I really like about Control Freak's cables is it's got that really nice braided material. All right, so if you guys didn't know, DisplayPorts actually support up to 240 hertz, as well as this one supports 8K. I'm not sure if all DisplayPorts support 8K, but when I get an 8K monitor, this is definitely what I'm gonna be using. Next up, we got Control Freak's Ethernet cable. Now, if you guys aren't using Ethernet cables yet, whether you're on console or PC, I literally do not know what you're doing. Once again, the really cool braided material. This is actually the Ethernet cable I'm using on my brand new PC setup to plug into my router. I highly recommend it. Now, probably one of my favorite things from Control Freak is without a doubt, their gaming lights. Now, if you guys watch my setup tour, you definitely would have seen these under my bed. It kind of gives that floating effect. These LEDs aren't the ones that you should use for strips. These are the ones that you should use more so to make things look floating. I'm a huge fan of these. And super quickly, last but not least, we have their precision rings. Now you guys might've seen me try these in a video I did a while ago. I actually really liked them when I did try them. Let me know if you would like to see another video of me trying them. I'm definitely keen for that. All right, but now it's time to jump into Fortnite and try all of these thumbsticks. Let's do it. All right guys, so here we are all set up on Fortnite with the world's best hand cam. POV Fleet is back and we do have the PlayStation 5 controller with the brand new Control Freak cable. Now, as you guys know, I do play with Galaxy Control Freaks, but I'm gonna take these off because you guys see me play with these all the time. The first Control Freaks we're going to be trying today are actually the brand new Cold War ones. Now, obviously I'm not a Cold War player myself, but the grip on these look very interesting. So let's try them out. Keep in mind as well when buying Control Freaks that they actually do have Xbox ones as well as PlayStation ones. Ones, and the PlayStation ones fit both on the PS4 and the PS5 controller. All right, and starting off with the new Cold War thumbsticks. Okay. I actually really like the material they use for this. So if you guys didn't know, Control Freak actually use a different material for certain thumbsticks. And these ones feel a lot more like rubber. They stick a lot to my fingers. And not gonna lie, I kind of like that. Okay. I actually low-key really like these. Okay, so if you didn't know, the Cold War thumbsticks are actually both high-rise. High-rise meaning the thumbsticks are actually the longer ones. And yeah, surprisingly, I'm actually a really big fan of these. So I'm going to rate my top five at the end of this video. Let's move on to the next ones, which are called the Edge. So these ones actually have a really unique grip. Oh, okay. I really like the blue color on these. These are like super blue. They definitely match the PS5 controller. So here we have one high-rise and one low-rise, which is personally what I prefer. Let's see what the grip feels like. Okay, these, these are kind of interesting. I really like the left one, the low rise one. I think I prefer the Cold War ones over these. See, now me personally, I'm someone to have my thumb on the edge of the analog stick. So I don't really take advantage of all that grip in the middle there. So they aren't as grippy as the Cold War ones, but I'm really a fan of the one on the left. Okay, I lied. I actually really like these. I'm not even kidding. So I'm someone that also has my thumb on the outside of the thumbstick. But if you're someone that has the thumb on the middle, then these could definitely be for you. Let's move on to the next ones. And next up, we have the Battle Royales. So you guys would have known of these by now. These are actually super popular. I've actually used these before in a video as well. But I haven't used them in probably over a year now. They actually come in an all black color as well. And they are two high rise thumbsticks. So let's try these out again. 
Okay, so these are actually really nice. A lot better than what I used to think back in the day. Keep in mind, it kind of all depends on whether you prefer concave thumbsticks or convex. So concave meaning the thumbstick actually goes inwards, so your thumb sits in the groove. And convex, like these battle royales, are when the thumbstick goes out. Personally, I'm a concave kind of guy, but if you prefer convex, these are definitely the most popular. Next up, we got Control Freak's Icon X. So this is actually their little Control Freak icon. All right, so we got two low rise thumbsticks. Oh, the grip on these is actually really unique. Okay, I like how grippy these are. The material they use for this is like, yeah, these are so nice. Okay, low-key, these might be like my new favorites. These will definitely be a top five for me, which was pretty unexpected. Let's try out the next ones. Next up, we got Control Freak Alphas, and these come in actually a couple of colors. Blue Alphas, let's check them out. Okay, these are... Wow. These are a lot different to all the other ones. Yeah, okay, not sure if I'm a huge fan of these, only because these kind of require you to have your thumbs like right in the middle, and I'm someone that really has my thumb on the edge. As you can see, there's like a huge big groove in there where you sit your thumb right in the middle. If you're someone who does that, then these might be for you, but not really my play style. Next up, we got some Borderlands 3 control freaks, and already they're 10 times better than the alphas. I actually, I'm pretty sure I just like all control freaks just because it feels like a lot better than just what a normal controller feels like without them. Yeah, I really like these. Definitely something I could use. They're kind of like the Cold War ones, but I do prefer the Cold War. If you're after some yellow control freaks, I guess, maybe it suits your controller. These are definitely worth it. Next up, we got some Atomics. These look very interesting. Kind of similar grip to the Galaxies, so let's try them out. All right, and these are definitely a harder material that they've used. Wow, okay. There's a lot of grip on these. These are very, very similar to the Galaxies, man. It almost feels like there's too much grip on these. They're really, really hard rubber. So it's not like the soft rubbers that some of the other ones are. These are like super, super hard. Almost like the Galaxies, man. Yeah, low key. These are super underrated, man. I actually I actually like them a lot. They are actually like galaxies, but they just have grip in the middle as well. Because as you can see, there's like those little nuclear signs. Quite interesting. Very underrated. Next up, we got the Rush. Let's check them out. All right, so these are orange, and I have a feeling already that I'm not gonna like them. These are for like dads that have like huge thumbs, and they put their thumbs like right in the middle. These would be like perfect. This is, yeah, this is already, I like can't even play Fortnite right now like this is just it's like if you're someone that has like huge thumbs and you put your thumbs like right in the middle like these grips are massive man I put my thumb in these and it like my thumb slides around in them if you have huge thumbs these might be for you but they're definitely not for me next up we got some omnis now I believe these come in a whole bunch of colors I actually have green red purple dark blue and black so five colors I have and these are the perfect control freaks for beginners just because they're low rise so not that much different from a regular controller as well as the grip is like really subtle so it's nothing extreme but provides a lot more grip than just a regular controller so as you can see they come in a whole bunch of colors so perfect for anyone that just wants to start using control freaks super simple and clean let's try them out Alrighty, and yeah like i said man these are just like Something super simple, super clean, super minimalistic as well. Like it's just hasn't got too much grip. It's like the perfect starting point if you just want to get into control freaks and you don't want like a high rise with like heaps of grip. This is just something real simple. If I take them off, let's compare it to just a normal controller. Oh yeah, it's 10 times better than a normal controller. So like I said, perfect starting point. Second last on our list are the CQCX. Got no idea what that means, but the grip on these is actually really cool. All right, so two low rise, I believe and you almost can't even tell they're on there. Oh, okay. I actually kind of like convex thumbsticks. These are like the battle royales, but a low rise version. So if you're someone that doesn't want to jump straight to a high rise stick, like the battle royales or galaxies, you can actually use these for like a low rise version. It's actually like really comfortable. And they doubled my edit speed. All right, last but not least, you guys already know, man. We got the Control Freak Galaxies. Now, this was the Flea Edition. Back when I did release my own thumbsticks. Now, these are actually like pink galaxies. But you can still get galaxies in purple and white. So, I'm going to go ahead and put the white ones on. See how clean these look on a PS5 controller. And after using all these Control Freaks, I want to feel what the galaxies feel like. Okay, they're honestly, there's some Control Freaks that I, I really like the galaxies but there's some that i might actually swap to 
Yeah, I don't think anything can like ever beat the galaxies, man. I'm not sure if it's just because I'm like so used to them. But yeah, bro, these are just like, no cap, man. These are the best control freaks, honestly. And also, just look how clean these look on a PS5 controller, man. Like, tell me that isn't the cleanest thing you've ever seen. All right, now, if I were have to rank my top five control freaks out of the ones I tried today, in the number five spot, we have the Omnis. These are perfect for beginners, super versatile as well as super low rise so you'll barely even notice they're on apart from the better grip of course definitely recommend these coming in the number four spot we have of course the battle royales so many of you guys use the battle royales man these are super popular as well as they have heaps of grip on them kind of like the galaxies except they're convex definitely deserving of the number four spot coming in at number three we have surprisingly the icon x's i think that's what they're called i didn't actually expect these to be so good but for some reason they just felt amazing when i was playing with them. I'm definitely going to be revisiting these because they did feel amazing while I was using them. And in the number two spot, which also surprised me, we have the Cold War thumbsticks that just came out. For some reason, the rubber they used on these, it just feels like it really sticks to your thumbs. So your thumb like never slides when you're using these. And I actually really liked it. Definitely super unique, although they are both high rise. So if you've never tried Control Freaks before, they might be a bit too much to start off with, but I actually really liked them. And coming in at the number one spot, but you guys already know, man. The galaxies, bro. These are just... Nothing will ever beat the galaxies, man. Galaxy gang on top. All right, guys. And that is going to conclude this super long video on trying every single control free. Remember, guys, there is a link in the description and you can actually use code FLEA for 10% off. You guys already know, you see me using control freaks every single hand cam. It's something I'll always highly recommend and a huge shout out and thank you to Control Freak for making this whole video possible. All right. And that is enough of POV FLEA. Man, look at all those control freaks. If you guys did make the end of the video, drop a controller emoji in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.